Hey, what's up? My name is Volchek and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to bring uh, local Facebook users to your next show. So whether you're a promoter, uh, musician, or somebody who puts up uh, interesting events in your local community, uh, this is a good time to talk about how to bring people, the audience from Facebook, into your next show. First order of business, we're going to have to draw an IDA sales model. It's a funnel that brings people from awareness to the purchasing. So IDA sales model is basically a, a classic funnel. It's a journey that brings people um, that you don't know to take a purchasing action, then, okay? So here we have awareness. That's the first step. If nobody's aware of who you are, you're not gonna get anybody to do anything. So the second stage is interest. So you need to figure out how to get gain people's interest. The third step is desire, how to generate desire. So you got people interested, great. So how do we generate desire? And then the last step is, is uh, purchasing action. Purchasing action can be leaving an email, registering for your next event, and so on. So what, what's popular is obviously pre-sale, right? And then the door price is usually what? They, you know, twice as much. So we all know this mechanism, very classic mechanism, and we're gonna go ahead and use this mechanism uh, for, for our purchasing action. So what do we do with Facebook? Very simple. You're gonna need two videos. Your first video is gonna be basically your message to the people uh, inviting them to your show. Make it fun, make it entertaining, it has to be entertaining. Maybe you're at a um, rehearsal, perfect time to uh, to shoot this kind of video because you're in a band all together and saying, hey guys, we're blah, 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 just kind of like end the song, kind of like start in the middle, start in the end, just kind of like startle people when they click that play. You want people to like, whoa, what's going on? And then boom, that quick message, hey guys, we're performing, blah, 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 we'd love to see you at this venue, come on out. Uh, so then the second video, you want the second video to uh, be about three to five minutes. And that second video is going to be basically your demo reel. Um, get it together, get a demo reel together. If you don't have a demo reel, uh, you know, video your, your entire concert next time and then pick out the best song that you've performed there and just have that best song um, be on that landing page. We'll need this second video on the website. Right, so now we need a website. If you don't have a website, don't worry. You can get a website on Tumblr. It's free. You can register your domain and then just point that domain to Tumblr hosting services under your Tumblr username and ta-da, you got yourself a free website. Just buy a domain. Uh, I actually cover that in, in a different video and you can do that. You can watch that later. Okay, so... On the website, we're gonna create a landing page specific to the event, specific to the event, okay? Um, landing page. And on that landing page, you're gonna have that second video. Okay. You're gonna have that second video, and now with the event, uh, what you wanna do is you actually wanna create an Eventbrite. Eventbrite account or some kind of Eventbrite where you can sell your own tickets. Eventbrite, just go with Eventbrite for now. Uh, the reason why you wanna do that is because you can embed, just like a YouTube video, you can put it on your landing page, you can embed your Eventbrite um, transaction point, the, the, the point of purchase, uh, at that same landing page, right? So your landing page is basically where you organize the content in such a way that it converts, that it is interesting to the people that it generates desire, and then in the end it converts people to buy, you know, to buy something, a purchasing action, right? Remember that Ida sales model. This is the key, right? So these are the key ingredients that you'll need, and obviously, so event, right? Right, and then obviously copy. So promotional copy, you know, all that stuff. That's not my forte. This is something that I'm not good at. But I'm good at everything else, <laughs> okay? Um, all right, so now here I'm going to explain to you the Facebook uh, mechanism, okay? So first step on Facebook, what you want to do is you want to go to ads, okay? 
you don't want to make a post. The reason why you don't want to make a post is you'll make a post and it's just going to be another post. But if you go to ads, choose your objective traffic, Facebook will optimize uh, the ad delivery and set to, to, to certain kind of people that are more likely to click on the video and land on your page. What's even better is when you go through the ads, when people click on play, the video moves up on the screen in the mobile experience, and while the video is still playing, oh, the other way around, your website, your landing page is loading right here. Right? So it's all happening on the screen, which is amazing because people are seeing this stuff. So here is when you, on the, on the very first couple of lines of your website, you want to have your most pertinent information, call to action, get your pre-sale tickets right now. Only 15 bucks, 25 is at the door. First, you know, whatever, 25, get signature, blah, blah, blah. Then you get that video, the second video perhaps, that is uh, two or three minutes. Right, check out our latest uh, single or whatever. Uh, and then when people scroll down, this is where you want the event bright to show up, right? Your purchasing action, right here, right? All right, so another thing that you want to keep in mind uh, when doing this is uh, what's the venue address? Okay, so that's the location, and I would say plus three miles. Right. I mean, it de depends on where you live. If it's like something like Long Beach, I think three to four miles, maybe five miles. That's that's as far as you want to go. Um, because remember, we want to get the attention of local audience who are more likely to know already about the venue, a little bit more about who you are and so forth. I mean, you can do whatever you want with miles. You know, that's just my approach. Um, <clears throat> so we're targeting. And then obviously we want to target people's interest, interest. So think of like what your sound is like, right? So you can put rock music, but then you can also, you know, say like Incubus or whatever, or whatever you feel like you're sounding like, whatever, right? Uh, so pay, pay attention to these things right here, interest and the venue address, and make sure that this is kind of important, I believe. Also Pixel, with Pixel, uh, what you can do is you can basically track people who have visited your landing page, who have engaged with your video, and you're building custom audience. Because if they didn't convert this time around, at the very least you can show their, uh, the next ad, ad to these people again. Right, so you don't have to find them anymore because Facebook has already sent them. We already know that they went down from awareness to interest by engaging. So now with the retargeting, uh, when when these people keep seeing your face and you and you're talking about different shows that you're playing, ah, now you're generating that desire that we talked about in the beginning, right? Right, that's what we want. This is a long-term game, okay? So I mean, think about it. If you can acquire your next fan for say, just say, uh, 50 bucks, right? So $50 goes into converting that one sale for $15. But that person might end up being your loyal customer who brings on all these other new people to your next show, 10 people show up. Now it's $150 that you're gonna make because 10 people are gonna show up, watch you play. Um, do you see how that works? Like this isn't a one time hit it and forget it type of deal. This is a long term. This is where you nurture your audience, this is where you're investing this is where you're planting seeds right Th these are seeds this is a farm you know facebook is is a farm it's awareness farm this is why it's so exci exciting all right so now we're down to your pixel build custom audience and i would just launch that sucker at you know 20 bucks a day right because usually i mean think about it you're probably going to be paying about 50 bucks for to print out flyers that you're going to go post everywhere, um, might as well also invest $20 uh, a couple of days a week before uh, or a couple of days before your show. <laughs> Why not? 
uh, I can guarantee you that twenty dollars per day for three days that's sixty dollars you're gonna reach a lot of people a lot of people you're gonna reach you're gonna get a lot of people who are engaging with your uh, page a lot of people who are you're driving to your uh, landing page a lot of people who are getting that pixel um, and it, most importantly your face is being seen by people who otherwise who would have never seen it I mean yeah people walk by that poster maybe on the you know on uh, the window of uh, the shop at your local uh, hotspot street where it's happening but people walk you know they walk past the flyer and that's fine but what's more important is seeing your face on the news feed as an artist, I think that's one of the most important things, especially when, with an artist, is for the face to be recognized. Facebook works. It's just that you may have lack of content. And this is why I'm actually talking about these things because I, I produce content. That's what I do. That's what I love doing. I actually love working with local businesses, producing content for them. A lot of local businesses don't understand what goes into a successful Facebook campaign. And what goes into it is content and organizing that content. See, like content is not king. Organized content is king. Organized content that's launched towards a specific target audience. And that's only possible with Facebook. It's like money is not evil, they're neutral. Facebook mechanisms aren't necessarily evil, they're neutral, it's how you use them. And if you become cynical and saying Facebook doesn't work or Facebook is evil, well, you're just throwing out baby with the bathwater. The biggest problem right now is not Facebook, is lack of content. And that's what I've been trying to tell all these years to uh, local businesses. You lack relevant, interesting content. So this is my plan for promoting uh, events at the venue for musicians, promoters, or um, you know, venue, venue owners. So this is a really, really good way to build your audience to uh, cultivate and nurture your audience. And this is again, a long-term game. Uh, if, if in one show, after $60, you get two or three new people consistently, these two or three people will bring their friends next show. They might buy your CD next time. You don't know these things. And while it's easy for you to understand printing flyers, putting up putting them up everywhere um, around the city. That's something that's been tried and that's something that we fall into as a safety thing. This is pretty intricate, I, I agree with you. Um, but not doing it is, 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 a, is a bad excuse. Not doing it and falling back to the safety of putting flyers everywhere around the city, which you probably should continue doing, and don't get me wrong. But the, the, the main issue here is that we have a beautiful platform that no one's really using to take advantage of, right? I see a lot of people complaining on Facebook, right? There's something wrong with this. There's something wrong with that. But once they start talking about promoting something great, uh, they don't know how to do it because promoting something great takes a little bit more effort, takes a little bit more uh, calculated effort. Um, and this is the way to do it. If you have any questions, email me. Uh, I'll include the email in the video. Uh, thank you for taking the time and checking it out.